got it. It's, it's one of the Bishop of Gloucester's practical jokes. <laughs> I hope, and of course, it's you, Bunty, isn't it? Come on, we've rumbled you. It's a great cosy, but I'd recognise that breath anywhere. Step forward, puny mortal. Do you know the penalty for addressing the Prince of Darkness as Bunty? <laughs> Look, Bunty, old chap, this has been a very entertaining diversion and all that, but we do have quite a few items to discuss, including a quite tricky debate on whether we should sign this cassock sponsorship deal with Benetton. Uh, so, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind just sort of winding up all this jolliness and... Uh, you're right, Bunty, old thing. You, you suddenly look very tired. <laughs> So, what happened then? Well, I had no choice. I went nuclear. I summoned up a terrifying swarm of giant six-foot-long hornets. Well, that should have convinced them. No, they just put it down to climate change. Yeah. <laughs> so then I gave up. You see, the problem is, Prof, it is just so difficult to frighten people who don't believe that you exist. You ask the bogeyman. Yeah, it's, it's, it's why he packed it in and moved to Hailing Island. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd been there just to see your face when they refused to believe you were Satan. <laughs> Your eyes turned purple, didn't they? I, I was very <laughs> cool about it, actually. It was, it was the kind of response I was expecting, frankly. Oh, really? Why? Well, it's all part of a pathetic self-deluding trend. You know, nowadays humans like to see themselves as oh-so-rational, you know, all intellectual and sceptical. Of course, it wasn't always like that. Oh, no, no. In medieval times, I just had to put in an appearance, and before you knew it, people were burning each other at the stake and drowning old women in ponds. <laughs> uh, happy days. <laughs> yes, well, ignorance has always been productive terrain for you. Yeah, but not as good as knowledge. Oh, here we go. I I'm telling you, Prof, every bit of knowledge man acquires makes my job a little bit easier. Yeah, he can't handle knowledge. He doesn't know what to do with it, so he abuses it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Knowledge has to be better than ignorance. Well, if you ask me... Oh, and why would anyone do that, Thomas? Why would anyone invite the opinion of the lowest life form this side of an amoeba's arsehole? <laughs> so you just keep cowering in your corner there and shut your festering face hole. Now, don't start on him. I'm oh, sorry, Professor, but Thomas being here with you is something I only allow under suffering. He's the most venal...